planting one crop so that the next one thrives. This cotton is the second thing growing in this field in 2018. A few months back, this same area was covered by grasses, a cover crop to stabilize the soil while it waits for the money crop to follow. It really provides a blanket protection over the soil uh, during a time frame in which we're not typically growing a crop. Tyson Raper with UT Extension is researching cover crops and impact on cotton yields. He wants to know when to get rid of the cover to make way for the main event. When do you terminate? Uh, how do you terminate? Um, how do you set your planter up to, to best manage that residue, to move the residue away from the row and get a good consistent uh, seed placement? Incorporating cover crops into no-till farming systems was a theme for the 30th Milan no-till field day. 96% of Tennessee row crop land is conservation tillage or no-till, plants growing on top of the residue of a past crop. Cover crops are the latest chapter in no-till ag. Basically the need for the cover crops is to have something on that soil year round uh, to provide cover for that soil. Uh, and so we're looking at the different species and different multi-species mixes to see what might be best to, for our different row crop situations. The idea behind cover crops combined with no-till is to improve the soil and save it. When a heavy rain hits a field like this, both methods reduce storm runoff and erosion. More and more producers are covering up. UT Extension's Farmer of the Year, John Varell, grows 5,000 acres of corn, soybeans, and wheat in Jackson. We've been using cover crops for five or six years now, and we've been raising wheat, and most of our rotation consists of corn followed by wheat, so we're almost a 50-50 rotation with wheat. So that we've learned through the wheat that we really help control the erosion just from the wheat. There are challenges with cover crops, mostly if you're dealing with thick grasses. But the end result seems to be increased water holding capacity, healthier soils, and higher yields. One crop leads to another, reaching for cover. This is Charles Denny reporting.